The Guam Power Authority has tallied up the costs associated with Typhoon Dolphin, and according to the Consolidated Utility Services General Manager John Beneventi, they are looking at three and a half million dollars in expenses. A million and a half of that, though, is uh, related to one of the main transformers at the at the power plant that actually uh, that actually failed uh, not too long after the typhoon. So we're also working to uh, to uh, get. Uh, reimbursement of that uh, transformer or the cost of a new one. He says that Cabris One transformer at the PD power plant failed. This transformer produces 62 megawatts of power for the island. In the interim, GPA engineers have brought smaller generators from the Dededo plant in order to make up for the failure, but only produces 42 megawatts of power. So they are looking towards the Federal Emergency Management Agency for reimbursement. The fortunate part is that uh, because the Guam was declared a disaster area, uh, we're could get up as much as 75 percent off that reimbursed by FEMA. And actually, uh, our team has been working and putting all the data together and has been submitting it all to FEMA. So how does GPA intend to fund the rest of the costs? The uh, PUC has allowed GPA to provide a surcharge on your bill. And that surcharge is what you call the self-insurance fund. That surf insurance fund has built up to close to $20 million, and that's really made specifically for disasters or, you know, similar to this. He says that the fund works just like regular insurance coverages, and GPA must meet a deductible before being able to pull from the fund. So whatever we don't recover, uh, minus $200,000, uh, we can tap the self insurance fund and reimburse the organization so that we're not financially uh, uh, financially uh, burdened or you know from making sure that our debt service coverages are there uh, to comply with all these other bond covenants. According to Beneventi, they expect completion with the submission of documentation to FEMA and anticipate reimbursement within one to two months. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez.